Hello, thanks for joining me here at Crafting with Ali as we unbox another parcel from AliExpress, this time from a Gimu stationery store. I hope that I am pronouncing that right and I'll put it on the screen just in case. The total of this order came in at $33 Australian which to me is an absolute bargain for what I got and considering that I'm a bit of a stationary nerd. So the first item you see here is a little bit like a, a paint swatch I suppose that you'd see at Bunnings and there are quite a few in each of the different packs. They have a sticky note and I purchased these because I thought they would make a really good monthly block or for the days of the month in my journal. Next in the purchase are these cute little vellum stickers. They are almost like when you peel the backing off, they are really thin paper and they have lots of different titles on there. I purchased this stack of stationery with my journal in mind and just thought that these were really cute little titles that you could use on pages. You could possibly even use these on cards as well or on my scrapbook pages. The next item were these collection of autumn leaves and I have been using these ones in my March bullet journal. You can check that out in one of my other videos, the actual front cover. I've made a pop-up tree and there's a free download there so definitely check that out. If you are wanting to subscribe to my channel that would be even great too. So I'm just using a few of these leaves scattered through the month of March on my bullet journal pages and they're going on really nicely. You get a few duplicates within the set and again these peel off and they're very fine vellum stickers. This time I purchased a few of these little box sets and I thought this one was really quite cute because they had the, um, the talking clouds and I thought these would look great on a page with a bit of journaling inside of them. There are an absolute ton of these in the box. Some of them are duplicated, that's okay. There's lots of different styles. I was pretty happy with these. They're very, very cute. The next box were these really cute little whimsical trees. They make a great border along the bottom of a journal page or a scrapbook page. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. Next was a collection of little watercolored leaves. So these were ha had a little bit of a subdued tone to them compared to the others. And another box of little leaves with some white edges. I was going for a clearly a botanical theme here, can you tell, with leaves and trees and autumn leaves and yeah getting back to nature and some more little trees
this next box was a little bit different. They were like little prints of artistic work by Van Gogh. So I grabbed this one because I thought this could make for a very interesting page as well with some of his pictures around the place. I was thinking about drawing like little artistic easels and having some of the artwork there as a bit of a theme. I then went for a, a selection of washi tapes and I bought these because they're a little bit different to what I had. The first one were a couple of rolls of these little hearts. Now these come as a washi roll but you can actually take the little hearts off and use them individually. So I got some in a couple of different colours. I also grabbed these little dots as well. Same thing as the hearts, but you just peel them off individually. The next set of washi tapes that I got were made with a little bit of a, a square pattern, I guess you could call it, and I thought they might make for good checklists. Um, you sort of tick, might be able to tick in the little boxes. So wasn't sure what project I might use these on but um, I was going to have a little bit of an experiment with them especially once I managed to undo it without ripping it apart the other two washi tapes that I purchased were the spring blossoms and I got this in a pretty pink and a pale blue Next on the shopping list was this mechanical pencil and believe it or not this has been in my container on the, my desk and I'm using it every single day so this was probably a really good purchase for me. I also picked up some of these gel pens. Now they are different colours but it doesn't mean the gel is a different colour. It's all black but that doesn't matter because I'm getting through pens pretty quickly this year as well. Not only with being at home, doing some journaling but also at work. For the first time in my life I'm actually throwing pens away because they're running out of ink. The first two hellos you see here were done with my mechanical pencil and then I um, tested out the, the other gel pens underneath. They were quite smooth, I'm pretty happy with them. I do like when um, you get a smooth run of ink out onto the paper. So I'm pretty happy with the way that these are actually working for me. So thank you for joining me on this episode as I unboxed and yet another parcel coming in from AliExpress, this time from Gimio Stationery Store. Um, I hope that you're enjoying my videos and that you will stick around. Give me a like and a subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And until then, happy crafting and I will see you in the next video.